The latest photos of the Russian Navy's only aircraft carrier, Admiral Kuznetsov, indicate that for a pretty long time, possibly for more than a year, not much work has been done on the warship. Viewers may note that the warship was supposed to undergo a repair and refit and expected to re-enter service this year. The Center for Analysis of Strategy and Technologies, or CAST, a Moscow-based defense think tank, has analyzed recently published photos of the Admiral Kuznetsov during its refit and concluded that there has been no particular work done on the ship in the last year. The latest pictures were posted to Instagram earlier this month by user Lana Sator. The images show the warship's superstructure is snow-covered and importantly, no workers seem to be working on the ship, nor are there any machines lying around for repairs. The Admiral Kuznetsov has been docked at the Zvezdochka shift repair yard in Murmansk on the Barents Sea in Russia's far northwest ever since completing its campaign over Syria that began in late 2016 and ended the following year. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why it may be the end of the road for Russia's only aircraft carrier, Admiral Kuznetsov. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Admiral Kuznetsov aircraft carrier was serving as the flagship of the Russian Navy. The ship was named after the Admiral of the Fleet of the Soviet Union, Nikolai Gerasimovich Kuznetsov, who served in the Soviet Navy during the Second World War. She was built by the Black Sea Shipyard and displaces around 55,000 tons. Admiral Kuznetsov was launched in 1985 and commissioned on the 25th of December 1990. The ship has been deployed in many operations and was recently involved in the Syrian campaign. Admiral Kuznetsov is powered by six diesel generators and has a ski jump for fighter jets to take off from. Admiral Kuznetsov has an air wing of 30 fighters and can carry MiG-29K and Su-33 fighter planes. Admiral Kuznetsov is equipped with a 3D air surface search radar over the main mast and four multifunctional APAR active phased array radar panels. The warship is equipped with multiple weapon systems, six AK-630AA guns, eight CADS-N1 Kashtin CIWS, 12 P-700 Granite SSM, 24 8-cell 3K-95 Kinzhal SAM vertical launch system and RBU-12000 UDAV-1 ASW rocket launchers. The warship has been facing major issues since 2016 when black smoke was seen coming out from it during its engagement in the Syrian conflict. Admiral Kuznetsov has been suffering from propulsion issues for some time and was always accompanied by tugboats. To mitigate these and upgrade the warship, an overhaul was planned at Zvezdochka ship repair yard in Murmansk and was initially slated to finish in 2020. The Kuznetsov was stationed inside floating dock PD-50. The dock is capable of handling vessels up to 80,000 tons and is the biggest one Russia has and one of the largest in the world. On the 30th of October 2018, the dock's tank started to take in water and led to the tilting of the dock on one side. One of the PD-50's two cranes, which were 70 tons each, fell on the deck of the Kuznetsov. This resulted in a hole of 4 by 5 meters, 
The second crane also got imbalanced and, as per some reports, fell in the sea. Somehow, PD-50 did not capsize, and as the water filled the dock, Kuznetsov floated and was tugged out. In about four hours, PD-50 went down and sank. This incident caused a lot of damage, but this was not the end. In December 2019, a major fire broke out on board Admiral Kuznetsov as work continued on the ship's refit. The fire on the Admiral Kuznetsov broke out during welding work at a shipyard in the Arctic port of Murmansk and spread quickly through the carrier's internal compartments. Reports indicate that the ship's crew and emergency teams spent the day battling the blaze. This resulted in several injuries and death of personnel who bravely risked their lives in order to prevent the fire from spreading. Russia's state-owned shipbuilding monopoly, United Shipbuilding Corporation CEO Alexei Rachmaninoff said, "...we have calculated the cost of repairs. The total budget is in the limits of 300 to 350 million rubles, about 4.7 million US dollars. We are lucky that the fire had not damaged anything important." There are no grounds to believe that the accident will in any way affect the completion of the overall of the Admiral Kuznetsov. But this assertion has been questioned by analysts in Russia as well as outside. As per reports, Project 23900 amphibious assault ships, now being built for the Russian Navy, will reportedly displace around 44,000 tons. Confirmation of the Project 23900 size was provided by Russia's Deputy Minister of Defense, Alexei Kriveruchko, in a recent interview with Krasnaya Zvezda, the Russian military's official news outlet. Though these warships can't be used to launch conventional carrier-based fixed-wing aircraft and Russia has no short takeoff and vertical landing Stovall fighter jet, these ships represent a considerable investment. So, it's clear that funds are being dedicated to a different purpose. Russia has many Soviet-era military platforms and support equipment that are three to four decades old and are outdated by today's standards. Many of these are having lingering issues and Admiral Kuznetsov is one of the prime examples. A deep refit will have to include an upgrade to most major components like turbines and boiler systems, electronics and communication systems, as well as weapon suite. So basically almost everything except the hull may need to be changed. Then the carrier can be outfitted with caliber NK class cruise missiles, Onyx supersonic anti-ship cruise missiles and the Zircon advanced hypersonic missiles. Especially the Zircon missile integration will provide Admiral Kuznetsov with excellent offensive capability. But the issue is with funding. Most analysts believe that there is a very limited possibility that Kuznetsov can be overhauled in a cost-effective manner. The no progress seems to suggest that Russian leadership has decided against the repair and upgrade of the ailing aircraft carrier. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.